All right, hello friends and followers. Again, we're on the Yesu FT-102 RF board saga. And by now, <clears throat> people are pretty tired of hearing about this. But if you have an FT-102 with bad relays, you might wanna hear about this. So I'm assuming you do. Anyway, so these came out without much of a headache. Those two relays were pretty much in there and they popped right out with a solder desoldering tool, which is just a pump tool, vacuum tool. So those came out pretty easily. Anyway, my plan is this. I prepared two sockets. This one, it's now a uh, 12 pin socket. I chopped off the end of it. So it's gonna go in the back 40 there. And I'm gonna always have this uh, little notch corresponding to the notch in the relay. So the relay has a notch for, for directionality. So we're gonna make sure that this always goes in like this and that you always put the relay into the socket with the notch. This socket still has 14 pins. It's gonna just kind of scrunch over the end of the board there. I don't need to suffer the integrity of the socket to fit the board on that one. So here's how these line up. You can see that the socket that's going to go there matches the uh, relay pin for pin. So there's how that one lines up like that. Conversely, this one would line up the same way. And nobody bothers to post this stuff on YouTube for this FT-102. I don't know if the radio is old. People have all died. Who the hell knows? Anyway. So that's how this one lines up. And so that's my plan. And those are going to go into there. All right. And you're like, what about the rest? Well, this relay here is 12 volts. I'm going to unsolder this relay and... I don't have one of those yet and put a socket in. I'll probably unsolder this relay and put a socket in there too. And then put these back in the socket. So yeah, not the best way to do it, but that's what I'll do. So anyway, now I'm gonna solder in these sockets, okay? And as usual, thanks for watching. This is your FT102 RF board. RF, rough, rough. Getting to it. Thanks for watching.